Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Good Boxing Podcast with your host, Josh Saez. Today, I have a very hot episode for you, as always. Now, as everyone knows, the rumors about Terrence Crawford, arguably the number one pound for pound um, fighter in the world, in my opinion, he's number two, but arguably number one, allegedly is going to fight Manny Pacquiao on June 5th. Very, very similar date to the Teofimo Lopez versus George Gombosos. But Terrence Crawford versus Manny Pacquiao is a mega fight. And I really, really truthfully hope the rumors are real. I would love to see the fight happen. You have a fighter at 147 pounds, one of the kingpins of the division, fighting a former legendary fighter at 147 pounds. Manny Pacquiao is all class, truthfully, and arguably one of the best 147 pounders of all time. Eight division world champion Manny Pacquiao is a legend. So this fight, I know it's taken place at the end in the twilight, allegedly, of the Manny Pacquiao train. But who knows? I mean, Hopkins fought to his 50s and still had relatively pretty good success at a high level well into his 50s. So I'm not going to sit here and say that Manny Pacquiao is going to beat Terrence Crawford. However, if Manny Pacquiao beats Terrence Crawford, the shockwaves it would send not only through boxing, but the world and the sport would be crazy. And when I say that, I really, really do mean it because yes, okay, you beat Terrence Crawford. That's a that's an achievement in itself. Manny Pacquiao beats Terrence Crawford, someone young in their prime, arguably labeled the best in the division, in the hardest and hottest and deepest division in boxing because 147 is murderer's row times two. I mean, I know 135 is deep. You got the five kings. I know heavyweight is pretty deep. 168 pounds has a bunch of killers as well. And there are a bunch of other divisions that do have very talented fighters. But at 147, you got Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, Sean Porter, Keith Thurman. You have um, Danny Garcia, even um, Josecito Lopez, who is on the up and up. You have Virgil Ortiz. And the list goes on. And on Manny Pacquiao, your Dennis, um, your Dennis Ugas, and it just keeps going. It just keeps going, and, and it doesn't stop. You have Connor Ben, who's on the up and up. You have um Josh Kelly. You have David Avenizen. It it just keeps going and going. But if Manny Pacquiao beats Terrence Crawford, two things happen. One, he immediately becomes in my opinion, the second best fighter in the division, right? Right now, in terms of um, achievements, in terms of legacy, Pacquiao should be ranked number one just based on accomplishments. I mean, Manny Pacquiao's fought everybody at 147. Floyd Mayweather, he's fought Miguel Cotto. The list goes on and on, right? But if he beats Terrence Crawford, now we have a fight that not only could be for a unification fight against Errol Spence for Undisputed, right? That's a mega fight, 100%. The hardcore in me, um, the hardcore boxing fan in me would love that. I think everybody would, and it would just be amazing because Manny Pacquiao is kind of a free agent, but who who knows in Manny Pacquiao's promotion? He's always under some new promotional company. He's jumping around looking for the best deal because clearly he wants to fight for a prize. He's a very generous, philanthropic person. So I can see why he wants the money, right? You fight for a prize. You want the ability to help people and the ability to provide for your family. So you're going to take the fight that brings the most money in. A fight with Terrence Crawford, ESPN promotion. You have the one of the best pound-for-pound pound fighters fighting a former legendary pound-for-pound pound fighter of the decade fighter. That's a massive event. You get the first fight for Terrence Crawford at 147 pounds, where you can arguably make a case that Manny Pacquiao can beat Terrence Crawford. I personally wouldn't pick it because I like Terrence Crawford. I I really do. I think he has the toolkit to neutralize what Pacquiao does. He's a fantastic counterpuncher from not only the lefty position, but also the righty position. So in terms of power, too, I think Terrence Crawford at 147 hits hard. I mean, you saw what he did to Kel Brook. You saw what he's done to Keith Thurman, you see that he could compete at a high level. So Manny Pacquiao is no slouch. He's an eight-division world champion for a reason, and we got to realize that, right? However, 
this is going to sound like blasphemy, but if Manny Pacquiao beats Terrence Crawford, he's not fighting Errol Spence. There's no way this fight that I'm going to talk about right now doesn't happen. If Terrence Crawford loses to Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather is going to come out of retirement. He's going to see that Manny Pacquiao beat Terrence Crawford. The public is going to immediately recognize Pacquiao as the sharper, more fresh fighter. He redeemed himself. He beat a pound for pound. Great. At the twilight of 43, they may actually start to believe that his shoulder maybe was hurt and maybe he has a shot. I'm telling you right now, if Manny Pacquiao beats Terrence Crawford, Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao too will happen. Um, Floyd Mayweather's been out of retirement for a while, but you know Floyd will not turn down another fight with Pacquiao. He still gets shit for that fight. People still try to talk to him about how, oh, maybe Pacquiao won. You already see all the conspiracy videos online where Pacquiao won. Do and if you watch the fight in slow motion, it just gets crazy when you really read these, read these, and listen to these videos sometimes. And that's kind of why I made this podcast because I hate hearing bad boxing information because people do watch it and take it seriously. And then you legitimately have to have a conversation with someone about how Manny Pacquiao beat Floyd Mayweather. It, it's crazy. I mean, Pacquiao himself thought he won the fight. We know he didn't win the fight. But prior to this, no one really wants to see a Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao two fight. The first fight wasn't the fight everyone wanted. It was a master class by Floyd Mayweather. He made it look easy. And it was not a very, very exciting fight for the casual. I give you that. It wasn't the battle that we wanted to see Floyd engage in. It was a lot of hugging, a lot of pot shotting, neutralizing what Pacquiao does. And he looked frustrated. And at the end, Pacquiao came up with excuses. He wasn't able to figure out the Mayweather code like everyone else who's fought in Mayweather. But I'm going to sit here and say right now, if Manny Pacquiao beats Terrence Crawford, we're going to get the second fight. And it makes perfect sense. You repackage Manny Pacquiao as a really, really tremendous fighter who just beat a pound for pound in shape in his prime at 43 years old. Get the blemish off the record for the Floyd Mayweather fight. Sure, he's been knocked out by Marquez. Sure, he's lost to a bunch of other fighters like Eric Morales, etc. Tim Bradley. You, you go on and on. But the Floyd Mayweather fight clearly is the one that bothers Manny Pacquiao. He still talks about it. And I think it's a fight that if he beats Terrence Crawford, I want to see it too. I mean, truthfully, why not have it again? I think Floyd will beat him again. I'm not going to sit here and say that. But if you beat Terrence Crawford, you start to sit here and make a case and i think that's what's going to happen if this happens now you got to beat terrence crawford right but my god if this happens i'm telling you this is going to be one of the biggest fights and, and it may actually be a little bigger than the first one truthfully i know we had years and years and years of the back and forth between the two but with social media the the way promotions are going nowadays i really do feel like this fight with espn and a bunch of other, I guess, outlets trying to promote the fight, right? Well, I guess it wouldn't be ESPN because Manny Pacquiao is not with top rank. He's kind of just like a free agent. So whatever promotion puts up the money or whoever puts up the money for the fight, I think the fight would be huge because Pacquiao, if he beats Crawford, his stock is meteoric. There's no way it goes up meteorically and the fight makes sense, right? Because Floyd... You can argue, oh, maybe he got old. Maybe, you know, Pacquiao is sharper. Maybe Pacquiao could catch him. And I think the fight will go viral. I think everyone would watch it, especially nowadays after COVID. People are going to want to spend money, go out, be out there. This is the fight that I think is going to happen. I know Errol Spence and Manny Pacquiao will be a fantastic fight. Will it generate a lot of money? Absolutely. Will people want to see it? He beat Crawford, and then he goes and beats Spence. And then if that were to happen, my God, Manny Pacquiao would be a legend even more so he's a legend now but the Floyd Mayweather fight will 100% unequivocally happen in my opinion if Manny Pacquiao would be Terrence Crawford I know it's it's a rumor I personally think it's going to happen because again Bob Arum really just doesn't care right now he's going to put up a fight Teofimo Lopez is fighting on trailer cool I'm getting a cut of that fight and guess what I'm going to put my number one um, fighter in my stable against Manny Pacquiao the fight's going to sell Sure, will it sell as much as if there wasn't another pay-per-view going on? Probably, yeah, okay. But Bob Arum doesn't care. He'll lose money to make prove a point. Because at this point, Bob Arum's old guard. He doesn't care. He's not going to let anyone bully him around. He doesn't care. So stop 
thinking that this man cares. I think the fight's going to happen. If people put up the money, again, the fight, in my opinion, is going to happen. It makes perfect sense for both guys. Terrence Crawford hasn't fought since the Kell Brook fight, and he wants to stay busy. He's complaining about not getting a paycheck, and I think this is the fight that he gets a paycheck. Bob Arum is going to make it happen. I think the fight's going to happen. It may not happen June 5th, right? But I think Pacquiao... Terrence Crawford makes the most sense. You put ESPN promoting behind it, and I think it's going to be crazy. But if Manny Pacquiao somehow pulls this off, hands down, his legend just grows exponentially, in my opinion. I don't think he's better than Floyd because Floyd still beat him. It's a different era, sure. But I want to see this fight. And if Pacquiao wins, look out for Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao, too. That was my theory. That's kind of one of the wanted to talk about. And right now, Pacquiao is putting himself in a position where I thought he had the cards before when he beat Keith Thurman, but he beats Keith Thurman, Terrence Crawford. I, I don't even got anything to say. Follow the Boxing Podcast on Instagram at Good Boxing Podcast. Um, if you're not following on YouTube or you want to follow and support on YouTube, feel free to check it out. Good Boxing Podcast. Thank you so much. I appreciate the love and the support. And the views are going up. I'm really, really, really excited. I, I can't thank you guys enough. Be well. Have a good day. And stay tuned for another episode because I'm back on my grind and I'm loving it right now. Good job.